everyone and welcome back to another Sims 4 challenge video thing. I'm here in the create a sim because I want to do another create a sim challenge. So I was looking at my color filter challenge because I wanted to do a black and white one or maybe even the inverted one because I've seen a lot of YouTubers do that. And then I realized my computer also has the grayscale inverted button which made me think like why do just one or the other when when I could do both? So I'm going to do the black and white inverted challenge. Which is probably going to mess with me real hard, but I thought it'd be fun. So I guess I flip the switch and everything is black and white. But the black is white and the white is black is what I, I believe that. Oh, goodness. You can't even see anything. This, this is going to be harder than I thought. Did I also mention it's a base game? Because, you know, I don't own any packs, so it's all just base game. Oh, this is weird. Ah, she's like all light and glowy, but it's... Okay, okay, well... Can I even, like, face? I, it's hard just to, to see things. These are all the different skin tones, so I'm assuming these are, like, the really pale. Like, it could be really pale. Like, this is super dark. I guess like that would be really dark. I'm assuming that that's how at least black and white works and then inverted it's just reversed, right? I don't know what that would be though. I'm intrigued by what that color would be. I'm assuming that's like red maybe? I don't know. I could pick a safe one but I kind of don't want to pick a safe one. I'm kind of curious about what this one is. So maybe I'll pick with that one. You know, well let's let's or this one, which I think is red. I honestly think this is a red skin. Should I go for it? You know what? Let's go for it. We'll go for a red skin. Uh, so I guess one more a hair. Uh, something like this could be cute. Ooh, she looks good with that. The thing is, like, I don't know what- I don't know what any of these hair colors are. So I'm pretty sure this is just, like, white. So that must be gray. And I'm pretty sure this is black. So those are the only two- yeah, that's- that's- that's definitely black. So the only two I'm sure of. But I honestly, I have, I have no clue what any of these colors are. Maybe that one? That one might be cute. Maybe, I'm assuming I have match eyebrows, but to be honest, I'm not, I'm not sure. Oh well, let's, let's just do some makeup. Right, I think she already has makeup, so I'm gonna take off all of that, so that way we can uh, start to fresh. We're definitely not doing MAC ones, because we know how dangerous those are. Um. Okay, that one's probably really scary. So maybe, I know I gave her probably like a red skin tone. I think it's red. I don't know. I know Sims has bizarre skin color. Maybe something like, that one's probably too light. Maybe something like that, or too dark. You know what I mean. Like that, or something like that might look good. I don't know. I guess I'll give that a try. We'll give her some eyeliner. Let's give her some light eyeliner. Something simple, maybe one like this. That's kind of cute. That was probably oh, that's thick. You know, maybe not that thick. Do we have something that's like nice and thin? Do we have thin eyeliner? Is that a thing that Sims believes in? That one could be good. And try to match whatever I did. I don't know. We'll go with that. Cheeks. Oof, cheeks are gonna be hard. I just I need to match the skin tone slightly, right? Ooh, that one's fun. Does that, like, just cover the entire face? Is that what that does? What's this one do? That also covers the whole face. And then I'm assuming this one... Does... Take off the cheeks. Yeah. I don't know, let's try this one. I have honestly have never used... I don't use makeup much on my Sims in general, probably because I don't wear makeup in real life, so... I honestly have no clue what that just did to her, but... I think we should go for it. Alright, lips... Oh no. Oh, I can't see anything for lipsticks. Oh, this could be problematic. What about you? You could be f nice. Stick with a slightly darker one. That, like, these these don't look like they're doing anything to her lips. I don't know. We'll go with that one. Hope for the best. She also has earrings in, which I think I'll just let her keep because they're kind of cute. Alright, let's, let's move on to, uh, let's move on to the actual clothes. So, our everyday wear. Uh, let's see, what's something that's cute? This is, looks kind of cute. We go with like a weird striped pattern. Not sure what color that is, but that could be fun. Alright, and then we can go pants, I guess we'll go with some like jeans or something. Do we have jeans? Yeah, jeans. Oi, 
Alright, so I'm pretty sure I want like a light colored jeans, because that would be like a black one. So those should be black jeans if I did that right. Maybe like flip flops or something could be fun with this. Just casual. She goes around with white flip flops. I'm pretty sure those are white flip flops. Yeah, you know, she's. It looks like it's a winter, but she's wearing white flip flops. <laughs> I'm not sure. Yeah, probably not. Maybe we shouldn't do that. Uh, not boots though. These could be cute. Let's see. White. I'm assuming these are like a black and white. Maybe something like that. That looks like it could match her shirt. Maybe. Hopefully. Yeah, I'm going with it. Okay, let's see. What do you have for formal? Also a shirt pants combo thing, so we'll stick with that. Uh, what is that? Oh, that could be cute. I don't think I've ever seen this shirt before. It looks like it could be cute. That So that's gotta be like really black, and that's gotta be like white. So, and then the rest could be any color whatsoever, so maybe that one. Oh, then she could wear like a cute little skirt with it. I like this skirt. This skirt's one of my favorites. So we could go with a classic. I'm pretty sure that's just white. We'll go with like a white skirt. I don't know what's up with her granny shoes, so we're not gonna wear those. Um, maybe something like these. That should be like black, I'm assuming. Kinda almost wanna go white. So maybe if we do those and hope that they're gray or white or something. Yeah, I say, yeah. Mm, I don't know. I don't feel like the colors match. But then again, there's no color, so what do I know? Those might work. Let's go with those. Let's let's get those a try. Alright, sports. I mean, I'm tempted to just keep her when she's wearing because it works, but I won't do that. I will I will fiddle with colors. That must this one must be like really oh gosh. There's two different shades of black. Which means one of them's probably not black. Oh, there's three different shades of black. Oh that one's a lighter shade of black. Uh, why is this so hard? I wish that matches her hair, but for all I know, it could be a completely different color from her hair. Uh, why did I have to combine the two? Why couldn't I just- I should have started easy. Start with one, work with the other. I kind of just want to Maybe a tank top. Tank tops are always nice to work out in. That should be- okay, we'll go with this one, which I'm pretty sure. The classic white tank top. I think. I hope. And then we'll just get some nice little shorts. Nothing too short, because we're not crazy over here. But something like that, which I think is black and white. And I like her sneakers, but we'll 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 pick one which that probably has some like absurd crazy color, but you know, we'll we'll go for it. Nightgowns! Ooh, her pants look really cozy. You know what? You wanna you wanna wear checkered pants sure. Is there any other fun designs? I kinda like this one. It's like a calmer one. It looks kind of tile-like. I wonder what that. I wonder what color that is, because I have no clue. And you know what? Another tank top, which, you know, you can't go wrong. Work out in tank tops, sleep in tank tops. And I believe you should have bunny slippers, so here. Have some bunny slippers. Okay, so we got that. Party wear! Let's do a uh, dress for party wear. Something because I want to try out a dress and stuff and think it could be fun. This looks cute. I'm assuming that's like black and white maybe or something? Yeah, let's let's go with that one. Um, definitely not with those shoes though. You need like heels or something. Light heels, nothing crazy heels. Maybe not those. Uh, no, maybe just flats. Flats could be cute. Like, I think these are black and white ones. Which makes me think the dress isn't black and white. Maybe we'll go with those. Looks like it might match that skirt thing, but again, I, I don't know. But it's worth a try. And finally, we have swimsuits, which we can't go wrong unless we do a top and bottom. So I think I'm going to do a top and bottom. Maybe like this one zigzaggy one. Something like that. And for your bottoms, there's a lot more bottoms in here than I thought. I think this is the match. Yeah, this is the matching one, kind of, maybe. I mean, it looks like it could match. Maybe that one? Maybe? Is it worth a try? I don't know. I, I, th I think we got it. I think we're good. Alright, let me go back to every day. And now... We got the colors back. All the colors are back. Yay! And now we get to see what she looks like. In three, two, one. Oh my goodness, she's white! Oh, she's like... She's... That's... She's... She's white. She's... She's gone albino white. Oh, I was not expecting that. 
So, I mean, her makeup, her makeup looks, is pink, which makes it pink and white skin. I can't get over her skin color. That is not, I was thinking that would be like a red or something. I didn't think it'd be so, so light, because it didn't look like the darkest. Oh, I, so, okay, how about we talk about her outfit and the fact that the shirt color and the shoe color and your hair color all are, like, they're all teal. I mean, I... I personally think she looks pretty good. Like, can't go wrong with jeans. So, you know, I, I wouldn't take much of a risk with that. But I like the shirt. And I like her shoes with the shirt. And honestly, her hair is cute. And it's a fun color. Like, I like the hair color. I just... Her skin was not what I was expecting that to be. Yeah. Alright, how about we move on to formal? Oh, that's kind of cute, too. The shoes do not match her shirt. They are... Purple? What color even is that? I don't even know what color that would be. It's like plum. So her shoes don't quite match, but like the shirt and the top and stuff are cute and they look good with her hair and stuff. Yeah, that, that looks nice. That's a pretty good formal. Alright, sports. Yeah, yeah, I went pretty basic. So those are red shoes. That's nice. Shoes. I don't even know we have that type of skin color, honestly. I don't think- I think that's what's throwing me off. Not just the color, it's just that I didn't know Sims had a color like that. Because I don't think I ever really look closely at the skin color. I kind of just randomize my Sims usually and then off I go to play with them, so... <laughs> but you know what? She- honestly, I think she rocks- I think her hair sells it. The hair sells the same skin color. Her hair looks really cute with it. She just has really cute hair, which helps with everything. Yep, another pretty basic- oh, so it's like Christmas. Ah, I was wondering what color those were, and the answer is Christmas. Good to know. Party wear? Yeah, it is a black and white dress, and the shoes are were not the, the same color as that. They're like a tan pink, which don't quite match it. Honestly, she looks like she's going to prom. Like, she, this is what she would wear to prom, and she looks cute. I think so. I mean, the shoes need- she needs help picking out shoe color, but other than that, she's doing pretty well for herself. And then swimwear! That matched surprisingly well, like, you know, if those colors are in the swimsuit. I mean, she's not going to get condemned for wearing that in public. No one's going to judge her for that. I personally wouldn't judge someone for that. Yeah, she looks... Honestly, I think I did a great job. The most surprising thing again was just her skin color, and that's just because I didn't know that Sims had that. But otherwise, I think we did really well. Like, all her outfits match for the most part. I think the worst is it's the shoes were the only bad part. I did kind of keep it a bit safe, I think. And next time, maybe I'll go with some, like, crazier options. Like, you know, some of the more wild, crazy ones and stuff. But, you know, this is my first time doing it, so I want to keep it nice and simple. Especially considering I was doing both inverted and black and white. So, yeah. I think all that's left is to give this girl a name. She's going to be Estrella. Est Estrella. Uh, Estrella Slaughter. What? Who? Sims, why is Slaughter an option for a last name? That's what I want to know. Anyways, I guess we'll randomize her traits, which is Jealous, a Gluten, and a Goofball. Interesting. At least she didn't get Evil. I would have been concerned if she got the Evil trait with a last name like Slaughter. And then, let's see. So she's a Gluten, Goofball, Jealous type of person. Which makes me, maybe we go into foodie... I don't know... I almost feel like she'll be a serial romantic. Something tells me that's what she'd be. Serial romantic. She's just throwing off those vibes. Like the type that you wouldn't expect to be until it's too late type thing. But yeah, so this is Estrella Slaughter and... Honestly, I think we did pretty well. Uh, yeah, I think that's gonna end it here for me. Uh, if you want to see more content like this, make sure to leave a like to let me know that you or a comment to let me know that you enjoy stuff like this. And yeah, I'll probably be doing more like that. This stuff will be moving on to Wednesday, so if I do do any Sims challenge or any random videos in general, they're going to be on Wednesdays from now on. So I can save my Tuesdays for my actual Sims 4 series, whichever one I happen to be working on at the moment. So I hope you guys have a beautiful and blessed day, and I'll talk to you guys again soon. Bye!